Well, hello and welcome to this exercise of scatter diagram from data supplied in an IGCSC uh, GCSC hierarchy uh, paper. Okay, and I think the, the first part of this question should be suitable for uh, both hard tier and foundation tier. Now, the second part would, should be okay for, for both. Uh, for anybody looking at um, anybody do foundation level and wants to achieve, uh, say, in the, in the new system, uh, grade four and five, or the old system, uh, uh, GCSC uh, grade C. Now, this should be okay. For, you know, anybody should be, able, should be able to answer both. Uh, put um, parts of this question. Okay, excuse me. Right, okay. Now, what we've got, we've got this data supplied to us uh, in, the, in the exam paper. And then it says, um, um, I'm going to try and paraphrase because it's not very clear. Uh, the way it comes out, it's not very clear. So I'm going to try and paraphrase what's given to us there. So there, so that's my data there. Okay, and we've got that there, which I'm going to paraphrase. And it says, uh, the, the a scatter diagram of the data shown on the left is plotted on the next slide. Now, another person has a height of 145 centimeters. Now, use the scatter diagram to estimate the length of their forearm, showing clearly, right, showing clearly, oops, sorry, showing clearly how you found your estimate. Now, and I think where it says showing showing it clearly, that implies that you must draw a line of best fit. Okay, so that's how you're going to do that. Okay, now moving on. Uh, my scatter diagram is this one here. That's the scatter diagram here. Okay, right. Now, in the next slide, I'm going to use the information for person age. Now, this person here is person age there. And he's got, or he or she has got a height of uh, 164 centimeters and a forearm length of uh, 26 um, centimeters. Okay, now for this question, we look, we're, we're trying to forecast the, the, or predict the height of, sorry, we're going to predict the length of the forearm of a person who has a height of 145 centimeters. Uh, the person in question, when the, the two lines intersect, the line of best fit and the line parallel to the horizontal axis from the point 145, now both lines meet at this point here. Okay? Now I'm going to drop a vertical line from this point to the horizontal line. So and this is uh, this this is what we've got now. So that's the vertical line from uh, where the two lines intersect to the horizontal axis, and from that I can predict that the length of the forearm of a person who is 145 centimeters tall is going to be. Uh, 22 centimeters, and that's what they mean by show clearly how you obtain your estimate. So you must, because this is a scatter plot, you must plot a line of best fit there. Okay, now next slide. Right now, it says uh, an approximate formula connecting H the height and F the length of the forearm uh, is shown there. So we're trying to show up here somewhere. Right. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Right. And it says choose a person from the table and test the formula. So what I'm going to do here is to try and choose a person. And the person I chose from the last slide, as I said earlier, the person I chose had a height of 164 and a four arm length of 26. And this person is person H. So what you're going to try and do is to try and uh, fit in the height, which is 164, and uh, a four-arm length of, 20, of 26 there. I've got this from a table given to us there. So, person H, 
We want to see if the left hand side of 164 balances the right hand side. So 4 times 26 is uh, 104. Okay. 4 times 8 is 4 times 24. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 104. Now 104 plus 16 will give us 164. So the, the right hand side and the and the left hand side do agree. So the, the right hand side or excuse me. Let me pen. Right. So that's 164 on the right hand side and 164 on the left hand side. So now I'm going to say yes, because it does work for person H. Now it doesn't work for person G because person G has got a height of 118. Yeah, and uh, a four arm length of um, 17. Now, four times 17 is 68, and 68 plus 60 will give us 128. So, on, on the right hand side of this equation here, the right hand side gives us a value of uh, 128, and on the right, sorry, on the left hand side, 118. So, it does not work for G. But it certainly works for uh, for for person edge. Okay, so depending on how close you are to the line of to the line of best fit, the formula does work. Okay, and I hope all that made some sense. And please please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and bye bye now. Bye bye.